Hello and welcome. The new Flight Simulator 2024 is now slowly running stable after the buggy start, and the first free add-ons are already available in Flight Sim TO. Let's take a closer look at a very nice product today. The legendary Fiesel Storch is one of the most remarkable aircraft of World War II and a masterpiece of aviation engineering, especially in terms of short takeoff and landing capabilities. We look at the history of this legend and test the flight model as it appears in the flight simulator. The Storch was primarily powered by the Argus as 10 c an air-cooled V8 engine that produced about 240 horsepower. This engine was compact, reliable and ideal for the aircraft's low speeds and stew-all characteristics. The Argus engine also provided exceptional efficiency at low weight, which aided the Storch's outstanding flight characteristics. The aircraft had a distinctive undercarriage with long, springy legs designed for uneven landings. This gave it the nickname Stork. The wings were set high and promised excellent visibility for the pilot. This was especially important for reconnaissance flights. The free flight model from FlightSim TO looks great. All the distinctive features are well modelled. The textures are not very high resolution, but the model has a fantastic frame rate which runs fantastically smoothly even on older PC systems. Flying Extraordinary by Emil Kropp, a well-known German pilot at New Jersey. His machine is a new German product which he claims can be handled like an auto gyro. How's it done? Oh, by a collection of flips, flaps and flops, or so Ivan Scott tells me. The wings are fitted with slots and aerial brakes which enable it almost to hover and take off or land in a remarkably small space. A fine achievement by German designers. To test the stork, we also use a free scenery from FlightSim TO, one of the first created for Flight Simulator 2024 a small airstrip called Johnson's Farm, which has a stole runway. This scenery contains many handcrafted buildings and objects. You can spawn in on three small parking spots inside the three hangars. A fantastically detailed environment and is always free. A big compliment to the developer. All links to the free download are, as always, in the video description. But how realistic is the free flight model? We can quickly find the original performance data on the internet. As always, we set the weather to optimal conditions with no wind and test it. Theoretically, we should take off after 200 feet, reach a maximum speed of 175 kilometers per hour, and the stall should be around 50 kilometers per hour. Let's test it. The cold and dark start is easy. Battery on, maximum mixture, open the fuel supply and prime the engine a little. Switch on the starter and we are surprised to find that the free model also has its own sound, which is very close to reality. Great work! There is no pilot shown in the external model, but this seems to be a bug in the new flight simulator that will hopefully be fixed soon. and we can actually move the stork just over 200 feet into the air. Exactly the data we found in the performance table.
Now we level the Storch at 2,000 feet and accelerate with minimal weight and no wind. We manage about 180 kilometers per hour. This value also corresponds almost exactly to the maximum speed values that we found on the internet. Due to its design, it is able to fly at very low speeds, even below 30 knots. Let's test it. In fact, with the flaps extended and under optimal conditions, it falls from the sky at 45 kilometers per hour or 24 knots. It's amazing how realistic this free airplane is. A big compliment to the developer. According to the performance charts, we should be able to reach almost 15,000 feet with the Storch. Do the data here also match the freeware model from Flight Sim TO? Let's try it. During the climb to the service ceiling, we have some time to look at the history of the Stork. The Fiesler Storch was used by the German Air Force in a variety of roles as a reconnaissance aircraft, medical aircraft, courier aircraft and for liaison duties. Almost 3,000 were manufactured during the Second World War. One of the most legendary operations was the liberation of Mussolini. In 1943, Otto Skorzeny used a Storch to rescue Mussolini from a remote mountain plateau. The landing and takeoff under the most difficult conditions made the mission one of the most spectacular of the war. Der Start von dem abschüssigen kleinen Gipfelplateau ist ein fliegerisches Landstück. Kurze Zeit später landet das Flugzeug mit dem Dutsche auf einem Flugplatz südlich von Rom. The Fiesler Storch also played an important role in the desert war in the North African desert. The Storch was used to quickly transport commanders such as Erwin Rommel between front lines and bases, to transmit reports and to evacuate the wounded from remote areas. Rommel himself often used the Storch to get an idea of troop movements, which supported his quick decision-making style. The aircraft's robust construction proved its worth in the extreme heat and difficult conditions of the desert. Designed in 1935, the Fiesler Storch was a high-winged light monoplane which served with the Luftwaffe in all theatres. Originally a general reconnaissance and courier aircraft, it was later used in artillery spotting and ambulance roles. Armed with one machine gun and powered by a 240 horsepower engine, the Storch had a top speed of 110 miles per hour. The short takeoff and landing capabilities of the Storch were so far in advance of its rivals that 40 captured aircraft were assigned as transport to Allied commanders. After the Second World War, it continued to be used in various countries, both for military and civilian purposes. The Storch remained a sought-after aircraft due to its unique characteristics and is still presented by collectors and at air shows today. Some examples are still airworthy. But now, back to our flight. After about 20 minutes, we approached the maximum flight altitude. During the climb, we had to lean the mixture several times to maintain the engine performance. This flight physics also seems to be present in the freeware model.
With maximum flaps, the air breaks off at around 14,500 feet. Fantastic, this value also matches exactly with the values we found on the internet. But now we're back to Johnson Field quickly before we run out of fuel, because for the test, we flew with a minimal load to save weight. According to the data, we should need a runway of less than 100 feet for the storage. I needed about 180 feet to land, a little more than stated on the internet. However, in this case, I would blame the pilot and my lack of skills. In any case, the flight behavior during landing was absolutely realistic. In summary, I can say that I am enthusiastic about the stalk. The flight model is very close to reality and it is fun to fly with it in Flight Simulator 2024. A big thank you to the developer who makes it available to us free of charge. At the moment, there are still many bugs in the new Flight Simulator and the aircraft. What do you think? Are you already using the new Flight Simulator? Write it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a nice week and always a safe landing.